It's Mikey. Come on. Come this way. We're going to go see a special guy with a special listing. Oh, my God. I'll call you back. Oh, my God. Is this a YouTube episode we're doing with Mikey? First of all, we got to start you out where the money's at out here. Because, listen, no one ever in the history of the world said, hey, Josh, I want to live up in the sickest street in the Bird Streets on Collingwood and not have a view. No one said that ever. And no one will ever say that. But what they will say is, Josh, I want to live on the sickest street in the Bird Streets and have the sickest view in the entire Bird Street. A lot of things in this house are completely tricked out. Like this door right here, it comes down. It comes down like a garage door. It goes up and down, not side to side. You can park your car in there. That's right. You can park, you can park a Mack truck in there if you wanted to because the height is insane. And that's what separates this house from everything else is the height. It's crazy. It even makes Mikey and I look short. Yeah, and we're super tall. We, oh, how come every time we got a house with a piano, Mikey happens to be with us? Mikey, take it. Who's gonna sell this house? Josh gonna sell this house. <laughs> Who's gonna sell this house today? Josh gonna sell this house today. Who's gonna sell this house today? Josh gonna sell this house. Oh, God. Sometimes I forget why we got Mikey around. Sure. I just remember why we got Mikey it's around. That's the only reason. Hey, you did a great job. Take this. That's yours. All right, put it back. Put it back. <laughs> put it back. You don't get to keep, Mikey, you don't get to keep the stuff in our clients' houses, okay? So everything in the house, obviously, custom. Uh, what's really cool here is this uh, metal piece of art that they incorporated instead of just a railing or glass that you typically would see in any of these houses. They said, ah, well, actually, what is the most expensive thing we could do, and that's this. Did you see, did, did you see the chandelier? Mm -hmm. Did, 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 did you see the chandelier? Oh, wow. Look yeah, at that. look at that chandelier. So I wasn't here when they put that in, but I can tell you something. That's not going to be fun to put in. All right, you guys want to go see the kitchen? Come on. You're in the kitchen. You're making some pasta like you make at my house, and you look over there, and you're like, oh, my God. I got the greatest view I've ever seen. How cool is that? It only cost me $29.5 million worth every penny of that $29.5. And then you turn around and you go, oh, I got the Rolls Royce of stoves. You see that? L-A-C-O-R-N-U-E. Google this. It's expensive. It's really expensive. It's the best stove on the market. And I'm not even sponsored by them to say that. Okay, so we're looking at 14 foot ceilings here. This is as tall as you can get legally right here. All right, we're gonna go upstairs next. I'm gonna take you to the bedrooms upstairs and then I'm gonna show you what I like to call the fun zone. All right, the fun zone is downstairs. Going to the fun zone, yeah. Going to the fun zone. First thing you're gonna see when you come up here is an incredible view. You also get the, t oh, maybe this is how you clean the chandelier. Yeah, you take the thing. So this is really cool because this is smooth, right? But it's actually the door. See that? So it's the door to the master that actually oh, hides. It this way. Yeah, well, it doesn't close this way. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. I mean, that, this house is literally worth every penny. I think this is the best deal out there. That's Devlin. That sold for 38 million. On top of that, you got uh, Oriole, the end, the end house over there. That used to be owned by Dr. Dre, sold for 32 million. You got Leonardo DiCaprio up there. This is good real estate you're looking at. Good real estate. Hey Leo, can we get some sugar? <laughs> you know, also what's cool is like, look at how close we are to Sunset Boulevard right there. So this is cool. I mean, this bed is built in. Uh, you don't have to ask for this in the offer. It's gonna stay there. Yeah, oh, this is kind of cool. So you got your shower. Well, first of all, here, Ben, come on in with me. You're showering, right? Look behind me. 
oh, it's just the world. And then you're like, yeah, you know what? Let me turn this one off. Let me see this. Oh, oh, this one's better. All right, Mikey, you shower here. I'll shower here. And then, oh, Ben, you need a shower. Look above you. Woo! There you go. All three of us can shower. The dog, oh yeah, everybody love, the dog gets a bath. Everybody loved my comment about showering with my dog because there was a doggy shower in the last episode. Yeah, I saw that. You think that's weird? I don't think no, so. I think it's fine. If you think it's weird, you're a hater of dogs yeah. and then, then you got to deal with Mikey and I. Yeah. yeah, actually, so Mikey, stand right here. No, you're going to squirt me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, so here, come here, come check this out. Rear soft, front and wide. I mean, are, are you a rear soft guy or a front and wide? I, I don't even know what that means. I'll tell you what I mean, because I got this toilet. This one shoots out hard, you're behind. This one goes wide on wide. your wide on your stuff. <laughs> it goes wide. And then afterwards, they say, oh, well, then you got to wipe a wet butt, right? Nope. Dryer. No. no. It's like someone's having a hair dryer on your, on your family there. No. Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty expensive. So the only thing you possibly could say right now is, but like you have a 175 degree view. It's not 180 degrees. And then I go, actually, you're wrong because when you come to this side of the house, oh my God, you got downtown. Wow. Look at that. So you do have, you do have a full view. Okay? You have a full view of everything. Okay, hold on. Uh, what's your name? Mike. Mike. Uh, Mike what? Uh, Rossi. Yeah, sorry man. I think, I no, I'm, no, I'm pretty... no, I don't see it. But, uh... It's all good. Uh, what's your name? Ben? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, you're on this. All right, come on, let's go. Check this out though. Turn around and check out those. Oh, the underlit. Oh my God. You see, this is a wide hallway. Like, you know, a lot of these houses in the hills, they're a little skinnier. They went wide on this and it feels really good. All right. Oh yeah. You know how to do this? When you do Pilates, you do like this. Gotta get the, gotta get the ass in, you know what I mean? Ah. Like this, right? That's a no way. That's a real this workout. This is how you do it. Ask everyone on YouTube. That's a real workout. Ask everyone on YouTube. Come on, YouTube. Is that how you do Pilates? I've never been to a Pilates class before. I hear it's good for you, but that is definitely not it. Is it? Starting my own Pilates class right now. This is a door stopper. No one's picking this up. Can you pick that up? Yeah, I can pick that. Up. All right, let's see. Oh. <laughs> Ben almost hurt himself watching you. Dude. No way. All right, well, now you know why Mikey's around. Because he's my boy, he drives us around, he's our hired muscle. Don't even come here because Mike throws 120s around like I throw 20s. So after a hard workout like that, you want to come into your own spa. Now, listen, in real estate, we see a lot of houses, people are like, oh, that's the spa. I'm like, that's not a spa, that's a bathtub. And they go, well, no, no, the shower has a steam shower. I said, it's still not a spa. Let me show you a proper spa. Welcome to the salt room. Yes, I said that right. These walls are salt. Are you kidding? No, I'm not kidding. Look at this. See this? Lick it. That's right. Did you lick it? No, no, that's what you're here for. Will you lick it? Yeah, I'll lick it. That's salt. <laughs> Which block did you did you do? I don't remember. Just do, do one of these do two. Over here. I'll do this one. Yeah. Holy. That's salt. That's salt. <laughs> Anybody have some fries? Yeah, dude. Yeah, we don't need. Leo. I'm not gonna lie. We don't need Leo to borrow any salt. We got, we got our <laughs> salt wall down here. So this is a salt room. What does that do? It actually pulls the toxins out of your body, which is why they built it in here. It's a Himalayan salt room, which is super rare, super expensive, and uh, pretty much the coolest thing that you're gonna see anywhere. And they decided to do this entire spa with it, okay? So you need a salt room, you need massage tables, you need a cold plunge. Got the shower, got the steam, got the sauna. Oh my goodness. 
Steam and sauna. Mikey, I'll see you. Are you, are you a sauna guy or a steam guy? I'm a sauna guy, but I'll All right, I'm a steam guy. Okay, we'll switch. All right. See you later, YouTube. I got a good name. Listen, next time somebody is like, oh, this is our spa. Be like, listen, slow down with the spa talk unless you have something like this. So we're continuing the fun zone. You've now seen the gym, state of the art. You've seen the salt room spa. Now's when we get a little, uh, little gang going. What do you got, Mikey? I got Bob on it. All right, let's see what we got. I'll just take that. All right. Yeah, I'll just take all that. And then... All right, four and four. Three card Monty, that's right. Step right up, step right up. So you thought I'd just break records in real estate. I hustle a little bit. See, the, See the ace, two kings, and an ace. I'm sorry, two jacks and an ace. All right, keep your eye on the ace. Keep your eye on the ace. <laughs> keep your eye on the ace. <laughs> ah! <laughs> if real estate doesn't work out, I'll hit the streets and I will win. Real estate seems to be working out. <laughs> All of this is refrigerated, just so you guys see. This is not just for looks like a lot of people have in the houses. This is all refrigeration. It's nice and cool over there. And then there's a private room behind me, but you gotta come see the house if you wanna see the private room because that's for the good stuff. That's for the top shelf stuff. Oh. Oh. Dude, you imagine watching your music videos on this? Hundred and twenty thousand dollars. Wow. Insane, right? Yes. So, uh, look where we are. I mean, <laughs> talk about some expensive ping pong real estate right here. There we go. Oh, ho, 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 ho. You know what, I'm gonna stick to the music. Well, that's it, 1305 Collingwood, up here in the Bird Streets, Altman Brothers, newest listing. My boy, Mikey Rossi. What up? Thank you for joining us today. You got about 12,000 square feet, and yeah, it's ready to show to you right now. Just, you know, send me your proof of funds. Show me like 60 million, because normally I, I, I would say 90, but for you, just show me 60, twice as much as this, and we'll get you in, because I, I can't do this for free. Like, subscribe, comment, we out! <laughs>